Today's video topic is Physical vs. Chemical Sunscreen Sunscreen helps to protect you from overexposure to the sun's damaging rays which can lead to wrinkles, signs of premature aging, and skin cancer. Regular use of broad-spectrum sunscreen has been shown to reduce the risk of non-melanoma and melanoma skin cancer. However, there are a few decisions you need to make when choosing sunscreen. First, you need to determine whether you will be using physical or chemical sunscreen. The key difference between the two types of sunscreen lies in how they block rays. Physical sunscreens sit on the surface of your skin and act as a shield, while chemical sunscreens go into your skin and act more like a sponge. Physical sunscreen Physical sunscreens are commonly referred to as mineral sunscreens. They work by creating a physical barrier on the skin, shielding it from the sun's rays. They deliver broad-spectrum protection by reflecting UV radiation away from your skin. They also ward off UVA-related skin damage like wrinkles and hyperpigmentation. Most mineral sunscreens are developed with titanium oxide and zinc oxide. These two ingredients are recognized as safe and effective by the Food and Drug Administration. Physical sunscreen has many benefits. They can be chalky, difficult to spread, and most glaringly, they tend to leave behind a noticeable white cast to the skin, especially if you have a darker complexion. Also, aren't always as water-resistant as the chemical options. Chemical sunscreen Chemical sunscreens do not stay on the skin or block rays. Rather, they feature active ingredients that absorb UV rays before they get into your skin. These chemical UV filters include avobenzone, octosylate, oxybenzone, octinoxate, octocrylene, and homosalate. In most cases, chemical sunscreens will not leave a visible film layer on your skin. Are chemical sunscreens safe? Most people are unsure if chemical sunscreens are safe because of the ingredients used. The same ingredients that absorb so well pose health concerns. The FDA has banned two sunscreen ingredients, trolamine salicylate and amniobenzoic acid. The FDA continues to work with various researchers to evaluate the safety of active sunscreen ingredients aside from zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Another potential drawback of chemical sunscreens is that people with sensitive skin may experience an unwanted reaction, like redness or inflammation. Also, some ingredients could exacerbate skin conditions like rosacea and melasma. So, which is better? Physical sunscreens or chemical sunscreens? In the physical and chemical sunscreen comparison, there is no clear winner. The most effective sunscreen for you is the one that you will use. People are particular about the way sunscreen smells and feels, but the most important thing remains wearing one consistently. However, people with sensitive skin will likely do better with physical sunscreen since it has a lower risk of irritating their skin. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.